you're looking at Anne Boyle, uh, which is the Queen of England, a member of the royal family which uh, colonized Africa and subjugated its people. Not, not a nice family to be in, is it, Anne Boyle? A lot of privilege. Maybe she should pay reparations. Yeah, but, but all jokes aside, imagine this. No, like the, the, This hypothetical scenario, uh, imagine you're a white person in South Africa in, in an alternative universe. And you get to see a movie there with Shaka Zulu. And instead of casting Shaka Zulu as a black person, they decide to cast him as a white person in order to fit some diversity quota. And it's a gift for you. Like, they, they casted the white Shaka Zulu for you. Would you be happy? I mean, I, I probably would be uncomfortable as fuck. I'd be like, what the hell? It's a, dude, it's a historical movie. Why is Shaka Zulu white? What, what on earth are they doing? You know, imagine if you're... Um, Seeing a black and Frank, you know, or, or a white Martin Luther King. It's like, why, why would you do that? The main problem that I think these movies are having and why they are flopping is that there is no audience for the bullshit that they're trying to pull. Because minorities, they, they believe it or not, I know liberals don't accept this fact, but they're smart people, okay? Like, they're still human beings. They have rational thought. And they know that this is pandering. Like, they know that... The, you are not trying your best. You're not hiring the best people. Like, if, you, if someone pulls this shit, they're not the person for the job. Like, they're, they're not capable of creating something that would sell by its own. And, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, okay? If you genuinely wanted uh, to make a historical film that has diversity, why not, I don't know, focus on an African story? Like, I'm willing to bet that if instead of Anne Boleyn, they would have uh, focused on the plight of Zimbabwe... And, you know, how socialism got there and uh, how, how people tried to stop it and uh, they got round up and shot against the wall. And, and you, you have like all the political intrigue and then the socialist revolution in Zimbabwe and all of that. I think people would watch it. Like I, I, and I don't think people would complain about your casting choice unless you want to cast the dictator as white. You know, that, that maybe people would complain. But but other than that, no. Although I don't think they will because it makes socialism look bad, doesn't it? Like people might actually see, holy shit, like look what happened in Zimbabwe. You know, compared to their neighbors in Botswana, which are capitalists and are very wealthy, uh, it's the wealthiest nation in, in, in Africa, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Well, it might, it might make socialism look bad, so that's why maybe they, they want to keep away from Africa. Because you look at the country after country in Africa and they, they seem to be very similar uh, when it comes to their politics to what happened in Zimbabwe. But there are exceptions. Still, you know, like maybe that's why they don't want to go with African history. Uh, because it makes socialism look bad. Okay, fine. Just, just go with the Zulus. Like the Zulus are pretty fucking awesome. Well, why, why not make a story about that? I, I generally don't understand. Why, why not make a story? I mean, one of the best historical movies is the one with... I, I forgot the name, <coughs> but it's basically like some... Uh, British uh, soldiers that managed to um, fight back the Zulus and they take a lot of casualties doing it. But it's a good film. You know, like, you, you can't do that. Why you do this? There is no audience for this. No one wants to watch this. Like, they, they constantly say, it's like, oh, they're, they're going for the other ideas. I think that they're not going for the wider audience. They're going for the non-existent audience. Because... Minorities don't want to watch it. If they wanted to watch this, you, you'd get the percentages. I mean, the episode had 500,000 people watching. Like, there are videos out there on YouTube with less production value that have more than 500,000 views. Like, this is abysmal. Shameful display. So the minorities aren't interested in this shit. Uh, the people who are interested in historical movies, like myself, am not interested in this shit. Like, as I mentioned, like you, you could actually do some effort and make a historical film that takes place in Africa, and you can have black people. You know, you, uh, another interesting thing, why not make a historical film that takes place in uh, America? And you, you, you have, like, something to do with the Aztec Empire. Like, I would love to see something like that, but we don't get to see something like that. I mean, the Aztec Empire, from what I understand, they actually married some uh, of their nobles with people from Spain, and that's why, like, even today, you have some Spanish people with... Uh, Aztec family names. It's very interesting. I would like to see that. I would love to see that. But instead, I, like, what is this? What is this? Seriously, like, what, what the fuck is this? 
And I kind of know why it is, you know? It's because if they cast a movie with only white actors now, it's considered racist. So, look, look I, I get it. You know, if you want to cast a movie in the present, that's fine, all right? But if you're casting something historical, like, what's next? You're going to make the Passions of the Christ with a black Jesus? I mean, maybe, you know, what, what am I to say? Um, and I'm not talking about, like, Middle Eastern Jesus, you know, like brown Jesus. No, 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 like charcoal black. Maybe. I mean, maybe. Why not at this point? Right, like, I, I guess even that would be a lot more understandable than this shit. Oh my god, um, yeah, it, it's kind of sad, honestly. It's sad because um, the people who pull this off again and again have infested every single avenue of culture, and they're running it into the ground. They're running it into the ground. They, you need to understand there, there, there are people who are losing their jobs because of this. Right, like actors who. Could have taken other roles, could have done other projects. They decided, okay, we're going to go with Anne Boleyn. And they're going to get fired now because the movie isn't selling. Well, the TV show doesn't get the ratings. What I want to say. The actual people's lives are being affected by these people's stupidity. I, I understand when you have like a good concept, but it doesn't stick. Like that can happen. But like this, you could have been warned. I, I could have told you it's not going to sell. But let's be honest, I would have probably been uh, called a racist and told to shut up, right? Because the only reason, the only reason I don't like this is because it's got a black person in it, right? Let me tell you something funny. This show had so much publicity. I don't think there are any mainstream media outlets that haven't talked about this show. Like television stations talked about it. Newspaper stations talked about it. Radio shows talked about it. YouTubers talked about it. Almost everyone talked about it. It had more publicity than Game of Thrones, season one. Like, season one Game of Thrones was very low profile compared to this. And yet, Game of Thrones manages to just blow up. And this doesn't even uh, get three episodes without people tuning out. Funny how Game of Thrones is diverse, right? No notice how no one mentions that why are all these racists okay with Game of Thrones, but they're not okay with this Anne Boleyn thing. Yeah, funny, funny how that is. Funny how these racists are begging you. Like, I'm literally begging you. Can you please make a historical TV show that takes place in Africa and is accurate? Like, don't, don't try to do some shady stuff there. Because I, I know a little bit of history. And, and I'll, I'll see if you're making it this shady a little bit. <sighs> but it's, uh, it, it's kind of sad, you know, because there's, there's just not much entertainment left. It's like what I'm calling this channel, lack of entertainment. There's not entertainment because everything has to be ideological. Um, I don't know. Like It's almost like these people, like there's a small, very small minority of people that are just creating entertainment for each other. They're creating entertainment for themselves and they really don't care about the market at all. That's what I'm saying. There is no audience for what they're doing. But I guess they're doing it for themselves. Like they're trapped in a bubble and that bubble... Uh, probably likes these types of films i don't know like they congratulate themselves oh excellent excellent job excellent excellent you know what's interesting and by the way like this is something that i noticed <clears throat> every product without exception that start with woke shit like the, the first thing you see it if it's a trailer if it's a, a presentation if they're talking about it literally the first thing that they say is that uh, an established character is now black or, you know, like some other woke stuff like Battlefield 5, you get to see like a, a woman without an arm on the box in a World War II situation. Every single time, the game ends up being bad or the movie ends up being shit. And it's not bad, okay? It's not shit because of the wokenism. Battlefield 5 wasn't bad because of the wokenism. It becomes bad because the people who do these things aren't talented because if they were talented, they wouldn't have to resort to these tactics. Game of Thrones, right, didn't start by saying it's diverse or anything like that, even though it had diversity. That they, even um, Black Panther, okay, like Black Panther didn't do a big deal about diversity. Did you notice that? Like they didn't, oh my god, this woke. Blah, blah. I mean, yeah, sure, they would say it's like, oh, it's the, the first black superhero movie or whatever. Like, but it's fine, you know, but like they didn't rally the drum like this they didn't uh try to shame people who disagreed with uh black panther and they stood true to the source material but they don't do that anymore now it's like oh always they come with the reimagining a re-envisioning and even even in historical movies it's, it's just like bizarre kind of reminds me with what happened to comic books um 
which, you know, was a staple of American culture. But, like, comic books for a while went through piety correctness, I guess. You know, you weren't allowed to show violence, which is why Batman, whenever he would hit someone, it would be like a big pow on the screen rather than show the person getting hit. Um, <clears throat> they wouldn't allow cursing. They wouldn't allow people to die. They didn't allow villains to win. It made for some meh stories. Um, and it's only when the political correctness of the Christianity went away that you get to see like comic books blossom again and a lot of people picking up comic books and the sales going off the charts. And now you have political correctness and like the sales are going down. And, you know, hopefully what I'm trying to say is that maybe at one point there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. Like maybe at one point some company will sack up, will get some balls and make some good entertainment again. Make some actual historical movies that have to do with history. And, and they try to create immersion and they try to keep it real to the actual time period. W without trying to pull all this crap in order to get people's attention so they get mentioned in every publication. Because getting mentioned in every publication doesn't seem to translate into viewership now, does it? Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the comment section.